Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions from the end of the last episode on quadratic equations, inequalities, and systems of equations. So first up, what are the roots of x squared minus 7x plus 10? Now what we need to do to solve this question is to find the coefficient of x, or x squared, which is 1, and break the 10 down to its factors, which are 10 and 1, and 5 and 2, cross multiply, so 1 times 1, 1 times 10 gets us 10 and 1. Is there any way to manipulate these numbers to get us negative 7? No. Now we have 1 and 1 and 5 and 2. Cross multiply and we get 5 and 2. To get negative 7, all we need to do is take negative 5 minus 2. And we also know that negative 5 times negative 2 gets us positive 10. So we know we have the right numbers. So the factors here would be x minus 5 and x minus 2. And to get the roots, we set that equal to 0. We know x has to be 5 here, and x here has to be 2. So those are the roots. Next up, we have 3x plus y is equal to 2, and 4x plus 2y equals 1. Solve for y. So first up, let's stack these equations up on top of each other. Next. Let's uh, get rid of the x. So we need to multiply the bottom equation through by 3 and the top equation through by 4 so that we can cancel out the x's. So multiplying the top equation through by 4, we get 12x plus 4y is equal to 8. Doing the same for the bottom but using 3, we get 12x. 3 times 2 is 6y, and 3 times 1 is 3. Now all we need to do is subtract, so 12 minus 12 is 0, we cancel the x's out. 4y minus 6y is negative 2y, and that's equal to 8 minus 3, which is 5, and we get y is equal to negative 5 over 2, and that would be negative 2 and 1 half. Last question. Negative 3x plus 9 is less than 12. Solve for x. So we just have to go about doing this like it's a regular equation. Isolate the x, so subtract 9 from both sides. And now that since we're dividing by a negative, we need to change the symbol to a greater than. Divide by negative 3 on both sides, and we get x is greater than negative 1. And that's it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this one. Like always, feel free to leave comments and questions below, and if you found it helpful, give the video a like and subscribe.